afternoon everybody, my name is Jamie Jew, welcome back to a brand new video where once again I react to another set of songs for this year's Eurovision Song Contest, albeit it is a set of songs, let's be clear now. So yes, this will be uh, effectively a slightly different video compared to my usual countdown of songs. Now, normally I don't give my actual opinion on them, but considering this particular country he, uh, happens to not exactly be a million miles away from me, I thought I would give my uh, opinions and analysis uh, with my initial opinions analysis as well as my top six little countdown to Ireland's national final Euro Song 2024 the Late Late Show special and yes I know we've had the Late Late Show as a national final for donkey's years now it feels like well it, it feels like a repeat succession you know like at, at some point is Ireland gonna actually do a decent entry for once it could a qualify and b do actually well well, we're about to find out as you are about to see my initial reactions to all six songs as I recorded them each day when they were revealed between Monday to Friday. So without any further ado, let's go ahead. Oh, actually, before I do that, how silly of me. I must encourage you guys to subscribe to my Eurovision YouTube channel because I know the majority of you watch do not even dare to hit that subscribe button. So what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button right now for crying out loud. Anyway, without any further ado, let's now get on to reacting and an Analyzing all six songs to Eurosong 2024. Okay, then let's have a listen to the first song, which is performed by Erica Cody with the song Love Me Like I Do. Not to be confused with the Cesar Nelly Goulding song. Right, let's go. Play. Okay. Movie start. Okay, straight into the beat already. Trying to get it up going already. It almost feels already kind of like uh, 2022 vibes already. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I mean, she sounds good. Okay, slowing down a little bit in terms of the lyric sound. Ooh, do, 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 do. Trying to get the hook in there already. Be interesting to see what they do for the stage. I wouldn't be surprised if there's like two backing dancers for this already, you know what I mean? I mean, unless there's something wrong with the studio version itself, it doesn't feel like anything at the moment in terms of proper elevating. That beat of... I quite like it, though, to be fair. Shut up and drive. All right, fair enough. We've had that we sort of lyrics before, but there you go. Oh, there's no beat here for the uh, this little pre-course bit. And then kick in. me like I do. You see, I got that already. It's very, uh, it is a little bit Ellie Goulding, but not in the same beat. I mean, that was a bit slower. This is a much faster beat per minute. In terms of the sound, it's also different as well. It's all right. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a key change, maybe. It's trying to build up for it. This would be a little bit of a dance-like thing going on, I think. Trying to do that bit. Is it going to go up? Yep, key change, I knew it. I knew there was going to be a key change. High pitch as well. And then it'll be a bit of a big finish. A bit that bit again. It's, it's a lot of stuff we've heard before in this one. Okay. A bit of a finish. Do, 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 do. I swear somebody just like recorded it randomly and like heard a few things in the background as far as that one's But you know what, it's not a bad first song. Maybe the quality wasn't necessarily there because somebody else recorded it. But nevertheless, it wasn't bad. Okay, now let's check out the second song for the Island Euro song. This is, this is Go To Barn, performed by Alicia. Oh, do, 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 do. Okay. Oh, okay. Let me just stand up a bit. There you are. Should be a bit quick, louder now. Oh, hey. Do, 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 do. There's a lot of like robotic noises going on here with like. You've also got like the kind of Irish tones with like. Do, 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 do. It's sort of like a violin kind of thing, but a bit robotic, if you like. I can manage to. Okay. What on earth is this? <laughs> oh god, it's almost like they're trying to mash everything together. I mean, it's different. That is for sure. It's, I, I can't deny it. it's different. There's going to be a lot of like banging heads kind of thing going on. At least there's like Irish elements in this. It's very of 
uh, the culture, but very weirdly mo like it's modern, but also just a bit like off piste. What on earth am I listening with? I don't know what to make of this. Jeez. I mean, if you like this sort of thing, then good for you, but so far it's just not for me at all. It just sounds like a load of noise. Okay, you got the do 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 kind of leprechaun stuff. <laughs> okay, so now like very gothy towards the end. It's like especially with the extra harmonies. Whoa, yeah, that was a bit of a weird ending. I mean, whoa, that was mental. Absolutely bloody mental. I don't, I don't know what to make of that. I really don't know what to make of that. Right then, let's move on to song number three, Judas, by a fairly famous rap artist called J Yellow L. And I heard he's a rap artist. This is the first time I've heard of it. So, but there you go. Oh, by the way, this isn't the full version. For some reason, uh, the last bit got cut out, but there you go. Okay, we're virtually straight into the rap part, but there you go. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of rap, but... I mean, the rapping's alright. At least he's rhyming and stuff like that, and he's saying words. And it's a good beat. <laughs> Working through the weekends on Saturday and Sunday. Very uh, influential lyrics. Okay. Oh, I've got a female voice here now. So they just added a female in voice here for the sake of argument, almost. So, uh, to be honest with you... Nah, this is, this is not for me. This really isn't for me. Oh, no. no as much as I would love to listen to that a little bit more, and I probably will at some point. Uh, I definitely will for the national final sake, that's for sure. I'm just not feeling the vibe of a rap song <laughs> like this in a modern style for the Eurovision Song Contest. Uh, maybe in another time I feel good for it, but it's just not for me. Um, as much as I appreciate his arti artistry, his uh, unequivocally good lyrics, I must admit there seems to be a lot going on here. He's obviously telling a story. They always do with these rap things. It's just not for me. So we're going to move on swiftly. Right, song number four is Let Me Be The Fire by Isabella Kearney. And by the way, this video also will be uh, cut a little bit before the end, so I won't hear the full song, but nevertheless, we'll give it a good go. Oh, la da 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 da's already. <laughs> Just adjusting my light. Can he be the fire? Okay. All the little clap things in the background. Well, this is definitely better than the rap song, that's for sure. Well, it feels better for me. Oh, boom, ka, boom, ka, boom, ka. Okay, not bad build up here. I'm getting a good. Oh, goes down a bit for the chorus. It takes some of the emphasis away from the song. So they were lo looking to build it up for the chorus, and then they bring it back down again. And then you bring it up again when she goes da 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 da. Okay. It's getting, it's not the most elevating thing you'll ever hear, but not bad. Let me be the fire when your heart's cool, cool, fair enough. The booty dooby doo. I mean, this isn't too bad, though. Maybe, well, definitely probably one of the best ones. Let me be the fun. Oh. Okay, so another, like, chorus comes in now. Here we go. I mean, it's, look, I, I, I it's, uh, again, it's just not one of them ones that's elevating enough, if you ask me. Obviously, it's fallen short because uh, before the uh, bridge, but considering we were to 19, even before the bridge, kind of makes me wonder if they're sort of going to go up a bit and then bring it down low slowly. That's just my opinion. I, I could be completely wrong. Probably one of the best ones so far in this national final, but no offense, Ireland. That ain't saying much. Okay, then, so a little bit of a different attire for this one. I mean, it's a different day after all. And a new song. This is the next one, which is Doomsday Blues performed by uh, Bambi Thug. Give me strength. Ooh. It's some sort of hypnotic. Oh, you can hear like a beat. I got boom, de boom, de boom, de boom, de boom. Okay. Almost hypnotically like aggressive here. Okay. Ba ba de boo dee boo. Uh -huh. Uh, oh, oh no, hey, went from da -da -da -da, and then all of a sudden a little bit quieter, a little bit smoother almost. This is a weird one already. 
Kind of intriguing. Got the doomsday blues, okay. And then you get a bit of like aggression again. It's almost like uh, monsters kind of hypnotizing you a little bit. Ooh, it's got some synth in the voice. High pitched synth. It'd be interesting to hear that on the uh, actual stage, wouldn't it? Actual vocals like that. Do 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 da. Hi. ZBD booby dee boo. I quite like this actually. And then go quiet again. Obviously, back into the verse. Or you can almost like, oh my goodness me, at the background, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's like a, a geezer speaking in the background, almost hypnotically demonic. There's a lot going on, but weirdly it keeps you gripping, keeps you in the mood, this one. This is actually all right. Down in the doomsday blues, okay. Oh, a bit like a... That's my vibe going into it. Mm -hmm. Build up again. I don't know if you can hear also in the back, it's like a glue, 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 glue thing. There's no like proper beat or anything else like that, but there's something there which which helps you recognise there is some sort of rhythm going. Oh, a little bit, a little bit of a pet. Bad, aggressive drum now. Not, not really anything in terms of the proper bass, but nice simple drumming effects. Oh, it's going to be a big finish now. It's going to be building up, building up, building up. Ah, oh, big aggression at the end there. Okay. Quite like that. That was intriguing. Like, it, get, it got you gripping almost. It's a little bit WTF, not going to lie, but I quite like that. That's an, an unusual one, but it is what it is. All right, time for the final song of your song, and this is Love Like Us, performed by a Louis Walsh boy band, I'm not even joking, called Next In Line, God Help Us. All right, let's go. Oh, my God, already. Give him a microphone over there. Oh my god, typical piano intro. Oh my day, how cliche is this already? Individual people, piano. It sounds nice though, to be fair. And a lot of ooh, trying to get the um, kick in there. I've been dreaming. <laughs> how cliche is this? Oh my god, this reminds me immediately of Lithuania 2016. Tears for the hungry heart, every day I buy. It's exactly that. This old bit is... Waiting for this night. You could easily put the same chords on this one, it'd be like that all over again. To be fair, this doesn't sound that... It isn't bad, it sounds nice. But it's stuff we have heard before. Especially with the hook there. Woo! How many times have you heard that? To be fair, on the picture, they do look quite nice lads, albeit like they dress from the 1970s. Especially the one in the middle there. <laughs> You've always got to laugh in the fact that this is Louis Walsh's DNA all over it. I mean, look, it's a definitely a nice song, but again, it's stuff we've heard before. Oh, especially with the whoa, 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 whoa thing. If they get nice staging with this one, this couldn't be a bad entry, but will it be a qualifier, though? That's the main thing. But mm. it'd be even more cliche if they did a key change right about now. No, they don't. Okay. Slightly impressed with that. <laughs> Look, it's all right again, but... Uh, yeah... Oh, indeed. I, I, even I, um, um, I'm the same reaction to that. Whoa, how cliche. Right, so those were my reactions to all six songs in this year's Eurosong uh, competition for the Irish National Final. Now, bear in mind, those were my initial reactions at that point, but they have since changed. So without any further ado, here are my top six from Eurosong 2024. Obviously, it still gave me PTSD. We're no good at sharing, and that's why we needed three PS3s, two PS4s. It's the way you walk, the way you dress. You can say whatever, cause you say it best. Did you call, or did I just dream? Or are you tired of the highs and lows? No one can love me, love me like I do.
what I love for this particular video, but never mind what I think, please do let me know what you think in the comments below. What are your top six from Eurosong 2024, and who do you want to represent Ireland at the Eurovision Song Contest? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Otherwise, you know the drill by now. Subscribe for more of my Eurovision juicy goodness. Smash the like button on this video for good measure, and of course, ring the bell to get notified about my latest videos are all at the bottom of the video, obviously. Catch you again in the next one. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.